woman who gave us the biggest hit of the summer. Check her out. Rihanna, the Def Jam honey and Jay-Z protege. She's got cover girl looks and a contract, sexy moves, and the sultry voice to match. This Barbados babe burst onto the music scene with her breakout hit, On the Replay. Now she's back with a new CD, Good Girl Gone Bad. Featuring more hot tracks like Rehab, Shut Up and Drive, and this summer's anthem, Umbrella. This 19-year-old good girl may have gone bad, but she's already gone platinum. interview so get ready okay. all right so you came out here and and your foot is broken right yeah my toe is broken your toe is broken yes oh my gosh it's all right it's all right it has not stopped me it's true is it you're out here doing your thing i yeah. love it but i gotta be honest all these people are saying these crazy things yes people are saying that beyonce pushed rihanna down a flight of stairs <laughs> Broke her toe. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Actually, I was on vacation. It had to be like 4:30 in the morning. It was our first night, so I was very excited. It's crazy because when you go on vacation, you want to sleep. You want to get vacation, but when you get there, you don't want to sleep. Yeah. So it was 4:30 in the morning. I wanted my best friend to come in the pool with me. So I'm running to her room. I'm like walking really fast, and this chair had to be like 100 pounds. It was a solid mahogany chair, and I just hit my foot into it so hard. Oh my I gosh! Know. I know. Uh, I can't even think about it because my toe is just off to the side. It was? Yes. It was like pointing to the side? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that is so gross. That's one of those things like, oh, I don't want to look. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's so very painful. disappointing that Beyonce didn't push you down the stairs. Right? <laughs> Did we want that? We wanted to see. Story. Girl, get up away. that about people like doing all this stuff Beyonce hates Rihanna she's jealous it's, it's crazy it is yeah it's it actually gets annoying sometimes yeah because it at first it was funny because I was like this is insane but it gets frustrating after a while yeah no I'm, I'm kind of ignoring it you know I'm getting better at doing that yeah but uh not at all she is one of the sweetest women I've she ever is. met she's so kind and it's Do you guys talk blows. about the craziness? Do you and Beyonce not at talk all. about like we don't even address it? Never, not at all. Really, not at all. And what about Jay Z? Do you say, "Yo, Jay, they think you and I are"? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Do, you don't talk to him about it? Not at all. Oh my gosh. No, we had talks. I mean, we talked about not letting it get in the way because at, at one point it, it got to me so much that I got nervous around him. Yeah. Like I couldn't even be myself around him. So anymore. have you ever dated Jay Z? Not at all. Never. <laughs> I can't believe you asked me. He's a lot older. It'd be like dating your uncle. N I'm, I mean, I've, I've right? never looked at him in that way. <laughs> yeah. Never. He's, he's my mentor. Yeah. He's a great, uh, he gives me great advice. Well, you know, I feel like the rumor mill is so insane and so crazy, especially with the internet these days. Some people print a couple of things and all of a sudden it's the truth. Yes. And that is so sad. So I'm happy that you're here today to tell Thank people you. that's crazy. Yeah. And Beyonce, I know the girl. I'm obsessed with her too. <laughs> but I know her and she's so sweet. She yes. doesn't have that jealousy thing. Not at all. And she's proud she's of you. Very sweet. And you know what? And not to like really say anything, but if she had a problem with you, she might could do something. And you might be on another label or with another somebody. You know what I'm saying? She's a powerful woman. But isn't it true? Like, if there was another little tiny Rihanna, if you were a B-I-T-C-H, you could be like, get away, 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 away. <laughs> your man so do you have a fella ella ella <laughs> eh, eh, eh. yeah girl no, give it to 
I don't. You don't? No, I'm single and I'm loving it. Wow, does single mean dating? Single means no. No. Single means working and wishing I was dating. Gosh. On a serious note, I want to talk to you about your childhood because I feel like uh, parts of our childhood are very similar. Mm -hmm. Because really? our parents divorced oh, right. okay. when we were young. So why don't you talk to me about that and how yeah. that affected you? Well, funny enough, my parents' divorce was more of a relief for me. Mm. Them being together, like I loved my dad and I loved my mom. But for some reason when it came together, it was always stressful. Mm -hmm. It was very, it was a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. I just felt like I had to be on my P's and Q's because I felt like, oh my God, they could, you know, argue any moment. It could be very uncomfortable. So when, whenever they separated, because they separated a few times, it was more of a relief. And I hear something, you had like a headache issue? No one would ever know something was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. So it eventually, you know, it came out, I just started having these really, really bad headaches. And the doctors, they couldn't figure out what was wrong. And eventually, after they separated, they went away. The headaches went away? Yes. Wow. What do, you, do you have any advice for people at home, young women like yourself, that are, or have gone through, or are going through parents that are divorcing, or any negative times? I mean, you just, you have to stay strong. If you want to cry, cry, because maybe I should have cried. I wouldn't have gotten the mm -hmm. headaches. But um, you just have to be strong. I, I had to be very, very strong because I had two younger brothers. Mm -hmm. And I had to kind of, I was like the protector. I didn't want them to see anything. I just, and that, that really has a lot to do with the type of person that I am mm -hmm. now, the type of woman that I've come to become because I'm very strong and nothing really phases me. You yeah. know, I'm still a human being, so I cry, I get happy, I get upset, but at the end of the day, I'm very strong mm -hmm. and I owe it to my childhood. Your childhood. Well, yeah. my mother, um, my parents divorced when I was six years old and my mom says oh. it wasn't a good marriage. It was pretty mm -hmm. much an awful marriage. Mm -hmm. But she looks at my brother and I and she said she would have done it all over again yeah. to have me and my brother. Absolutely. And your mother and father created a beautiful Rihanna. Yeah. And we wouldn't have Ella, Ella, Ella if they never got together. <laughs> Season and we're back with Rihanna. So Thank you. So, Rihanna, this summer, that song Umbrella blew up. I remember Aww. I was in the car in Soho here in New York City and mm -hmm. it came on the radio. First time I heard it, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird sound to me. It was a sound I hadn't heard before in a song. Yeah. And I was like, that is a hit. <laughs> Thank you. Like, you need to sign me to your AR, baby. I can control your career. <laughs> Because I heard it and I knew it was a hit. And the difference is sometimes a song becomes a hit. I can mm -hmm. think of songs, I'm not going to say people's names, where you know the song, but you don't mm -hmm. really know their name, you don't know the person. Oh, but like, the song was the hugest song of the summer, and you're the hugest Aww. artist of the summer. You are so kind. So it's cute. <laughs> so what can you tell us that no one knows about you? Wow. <laughs> That we'd be like, oh my gosh, Rihanna does. Oh. <laughs> I like driving around for no reason. <laughs> Where do you drive? I don't drive because I don't have my license in America yet. Oh, darling, you're I a want driver? to drive. <laughs> oh my God! So where does your I driver know that was drive coming, you? But I actually prefer to drive. I love driving. It's kind of I therapeutic. Hate driving. I driving. A lot can't. of people hate driving. <laughs> driving is therapeutic. That's why me. I love New York. Hey, taxi. <laughs> in New York is Insane. amazing. Insane. Don't you love it? I love You're it. You're going to have a blast this Why season. Why don't you come move in with me? Let's do it. Yeah. I want to talk about your hair. Okay. Big change. Yeah. Big, big change. You used to have this kind of weave, girl. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you cut change it? it? I, I wanted a change. I like I like switching it up a yeah. little bit, but, um... Well, I was a little personally hurt that you changed your hair. Oh, I'm so sorry. Because, like, so many people are like, Oh, my God, Tyra, you and Beyonce look just alike. <sighs> and then so many people be like, Uh-uh, look at Rihanna. <laughs> you know who told me this? Mary J. Blige says, Everybody's saying Beyonce and Tyra look alike. Be uh, she said, Rihanna looks like your little sister. <laughs> so then my little sister goes and changes her hair. Oh. <laughs> and now we look like cousins. <laughs> Exactly. We still look alike. Yeah. But you know what? It was the smartest thing you did. 
because oh, you. now you don't look like Sierra, because Sierra had that light hair at a time, or Beyonce, or me. Now I look at you and I'm like, that is her. That is her signature. Oh, thank you. So now when anybody else has the black short hair, they're gonna be like, she's trying to copy Rihanna. <laughs> She's trying to copy around it. I have a gift for you. You do? Yes, because I saw you walk out, and your little cane, a little duck face on it. <laughs> and I'm like, Leave my cane on, Tara. That's all right. Don't I have a little something cane. else for you. Where is it? Uh oh. You are so sweet. You gotta open it. All right, I will. Open it. <laughs> open it. Open it. Wait. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, you, what, would say. you know what we're going to have to do? What? Work the runway. Work the <laughs>